Uh, but today, we're announcing a contract that we have entered with an outside vendor that I believe can help us catch up on our claims from March, April, and May by the end of the month of July. Now, this contract is, if you can go to the next one, with EY, which is Ernst & Young. It's one of the big four accounting companies, one of the largest companies in the world that deals with tax, unemployment, and that already has the personnel, skill, and experience and resources to help get the job done. The purpose is to get us caught up and get us caught up quickly. Not over five months, but this is designed to get us as close to caught up in one month. EY already has experience doing this. They worked at the state of Colorado, where they provided 100 people to process claims, and they processed over 30,000 claims to help them uh, catch up. We're looking at about 56,000 claims from March, April, and May that we must get fixed right now. So we have entered into a contract that starts July 1 and runs for four weeks. It's going to move fast. Starting this coming Monday, EY is going to provide us 200 individuals that will be processing claims starting Monday morning. 100 of them have already done it in Colorado. The others will be trained up. And what that will immediately do is triple our workforce as of Monday. We have about 100 working on it now. Monday, with these extra 200, we will be up to 300 employees. We're going to add 100 more after that as soon as they are ready in the coming weeks. The contract is going to be uh, paid for by CARES Act funding. It's going to be about $7.4 million. Seems like a lot for a one-month contract. It is not if it gets us immediately caught up and it gives us 300 individuals from one of the most sophisticated companies in the world that has done this. Currently, we have 100 employees in the Commonwealth doing this. We will build up to 400 employees by July the 13th. ENY has 50,000 employees in the U.S. and of the big four, it is by far the biggest in Kentucky, having chosen Louisville recently for an expansion on parts of its back office. In addition to helping in Colorado, it's helped in other areas of the unemployment crisis in Oklahoma. And it's what we have to do here if we want short-term help. To give you an idea, 300 new employees, if we did it directly, would cost us about $30 million over the course of a year. It would take us four to six months to get them trained to process claims. We simply can't wait. And our goal here is to get caught up to the fact that we don't in the future have to have 400 employees if we believe, like we do, that this surge is temporary. EY is also going to be reviewing the uh, processes we use, the data and the technology. Uh, and this is going to go along and free up more people, uh, our direct employees, to do in-person services around the Commonwealth. We've been in Owensboro and Ashland this week. We're going to be in Somerset and Hopkinsville next week. And like I said, we're going to be issuing an RFP uh, to make sure that we can have the infrastructure we need going into the future to make sure that this doesn't uh, happen uh, again. Um, EY is the type of company we believe that can help us get there. Now, I want to be transparent. Like all the big four, I know people have friends uh, that are at uh, EY. But that's like saying I have friends that are at Google. Uh, this is the area and the help that we need. Uh, this contract is going to help us get caught up. Uh, we have been notifying legislative leadership of it today. Uh, we believe that there is support for it, and I'm sure they will look at the contract, and they should. Uh, but this is our best chance in the short term to help as many people out there as we can, and we believe the process that they will use will help prioritize the oldest claims and get them resolved uh, first. So we think that's exciting news. You know, it's, it's doing what's necessary. It took us a while to, to get uh, uh, this contract negotiated, something that um, I did not personally do. Uh, but but it's, it's going to help us, our goal, to catch up by July the 31st. 
and, and not just hopefully catch up on those months, but if we're moving fast enough uh, the, to catch up on the fact that we have so many claims filed every single day, uh, let's get absolutely current.